Hey guys, so this video will be explaining the vehicle cargo system in GTA 5 better than I did yesterday. So first things first, you need to go to Dynasty 8 to become a CEO. Dynasty 8 exclusive, excuse me. Um, you need to get a bank office. So this is the one I have. I don't remember how much it costs, but the others go from, let's see. You can also buy a garage, add a garage to it for one million one hundred fifty. It might be worth it. It might not. I'm not honestly sure. My friend thinks so. Uh, the rest range up to four million dollars, depending on where they are in the map. The map, there's good spots, bad spots, whatever you think. It doesn't matter really. Okay. Once you get your CEO office, you will be in an office like this. This is your computer. This is how you make the money. Okay, you go on the computer. Okay. First things first, you need to go click on vehicle cargo. Okay. This will lead you. Okay, so special vehicle work won't be unlocked for you yet. Okay. It will not be. Um, vehicle cargo, right? So we're going to go to the warehouse map just to show you. This one that I have is. One thousand five hundred dollars, or haha, <laughs> one thousand, ha, huh? one million five hundred dollars, five hundred thousand dollars to be exact. Um, and the rest of them range from different prices, just depending on the location. Once again, good, bad location. They all hoard forty vehicles. There's no upgrades for that. There's no downgrades for that. There is nothing you can do. You have forty vehicle. You can <laughs> store forty vehicles in there, whether you like it or not. That's all I can explain to you. So, I'm going through the prices right now. Uh, you, really, it's up to you, again. Where you want to go, it doesn't matter. I chose that one, as I'm <laughs> trying to show. Uh, at the moment, I had vehicles stored. I had 15 out of 40. Uh, current value of those vehicles is 300 grand, okay? Now, you can renovate these to make them look nice or something. I don't care. I use the basic one. I don't see 200 grand. <laughs> Now this little icon right there does not work, so don't click it. So you go to, let's say you go to vehicle special work. So you see these little numbers, 24, 32? That's the number of missions you have to do to unlock it. So you have to steal that many cars to unlock it successfully, you know? <laughs> so, and then you can do those missions and I guess sell those cars. I haven't really done it yet, so you're going to have to look at it. <laughs> something else to figure out that one, but uh, yeah. So as you can see, I click source vehicle. And that will tell you where the vehicle is or give you a hint or something, whatever the mission is. Okay. My suggestion, get a helicopter of some kind to do this stuff. It's very easy. Um, I, of course, I don't have enough to purchase a new helicopter, so I use a cargo bob. Kind of a heavy helicopter, I know. Slower, but okay, it can take so three missiles. Car, we can't uh, the location. first missile just kind eh, of down, you know, whatever. Look Second and third one will take you down for sure. <laughs> um, okay, the assistant will call you the second you get outside. So, in this case, um, I'm doing the photo one. So, the photo one is they're going to send you a photo and text and tell you, you know, where on the map it is, kind of. And then you have to go searching. So, this one is the Bay Area. As you can see, I skipped a little bit of time. <laughs> I flew to the Bay Area. Now, it is going to be somewhere here. If you can't find it in a certain amount of time, a question mark will pop up like that. But be careful, there is a time limit on how long you have to steal your car. So, as you can see, I'm flying slowly over. Take your time during this. Try to find out where you're going. Players can't see you right now. So, as you can see, I see it right there. I stop. I try to land. It doesn't matter how you land. Because <laughs> I garbage land it. Um, Alright, so I jump out, whatever. Run to your car. <laughs> Be careful. Sometimes there's bodyguards. You know, armed assailants, whatever. And there is going to be cars chasing you sometimes. Helicopters chasing you. Shooting at your car. This will do damage. You have to pay for your damage. Now there's certain there's certain missions that are easier and harder. So this one's really easy. Literally the only thing that's going to shoot at you is other GTA players. The only thing that can damage your car is other GTA drivers. <laughs> so you got to be careful with that. Careful how you drive. As you can see, you know, 
I go slow. <laughs> and choose your path wisely. Do you want to go straight through the city? I chose to go all the way around the mountains to the other side of the city so I'd get there faster. And just so that I didn't have to go through the city across, you know, other GTA players who can destroy your car for money themselves. And they only get $5,000 to do it. This is a supercar, so you don't want to destroy these. These are worth the most in the warehouse, okay? The repair cost is zero right now. It will stay zero for this car, just because I was careful with this car. And that means I have paid nothing. So here's the thing. If you're going to steal a car, if you are not a great driver, you need to have money because you're going to have to pay that repair cost. I heard that if you don't have money, it will just give you the repair cost for free. Problem with that is, either way, you're going to have to have money for at least 20 grand to sell these cars. Sucks, but you get 80 grand in return. <laughs> so, you know, I'll tell you about that later. But, you know, <laughs> it really is a good trade. And that's just for certain cars. Let me explain that. I'll explain that and go more into detail later in the video. See, as you can see, it is a long path through this map, and it does absolutely suck because GTA players, there are dicks in GTA, and they will try to kill you. As you can see, I made it to my warehouse safely. Zero damage. Be careful when you enter your, your uh, uh, warehouse. I've seen people just, like, completely, like, bam, and just hit that, like, right, right before they uh, <laughs> go into their warehouse, they hit the opening and it's not you know don't hit the driveway opening that's just a sad way to <laughs> pay a hundred dollars so as you can see it does not charge me anything when i get into my warehouse it does take a little bit to load i'm in see now back to the office okay you're not always gonna get a very you know amazing car sometimes you're gonna get a eh, car you know <laughs> and that sucks Okay, right here, uh, so source vehicle, confirm, oh, wait. oh, yeah, I was going to explain something, hold on, <laughs> okay, right here, so this is just explaining what you've done, so export, success rate, I did good, 100%, uh, steal, the steal success rate, I have 84%, I did get two cars that I did not uh, get, in my opinion, <laughs> Uh, one a GTA player blew up and one I just didn't find it in time so again it is a time travel tra time trial thing you really have to keep up with that right here this is just explaining that there are different missions there's a ton of different missions and sometimes you have to cause damage to the car okay there's no way around it this one he sped up and hit me which kind of sucked but you know whatever I shot him it breaks the windshield and it shoots the car a bit and then right here the trucks freak out and they all hit them cost me i think it was like a grand already like <laughs> it, was, it was pretty pricey already so at least have four thousand dollars if you're a very bad driver um so yeah it already cost me a grand <laughs> almost two grand and that's you know it's crazy i know for a lot of people are like oh we have to pay that the payout's worth it so Again, be careful with GTA players, as you can see right here. Dickhead. <laughs> he shoots me, and I blast off. That's why I always take it slow, and then I... That's where I caused a lot of damage, because I just... I was trying to get away from him. He comes around this corner still. He's still following me. I was just trying to get there as fast as I could. So, if you don't have the money I have, don't... You know, take it slow. And take... I mean, best luck. So, this is where your computer in your... Um, uh, <laughs> can't talk today in your storage area where you all where you storage your vehicles where you everything right this is where you will buy sell or not buy but sell all your vehicles there is top range mid range and standard range okay top range is what you want to sell you can sell mid range if you want and standard range I just suggest keeping it it's a waste of money to sell really <laughs> it stores up it stocks up in your uh warehouse and then you'll only get once you get full 40 cars and you only sell top range you're only gonna get top range so i don't know why it just happens that's what i was told um so there are different vehicles different standards and different 
you know prices for it okay and you can sort it all through there now I know there's four vehicle slots in the delivery commission area now you can only sell one okay and that sucks I know but the other three are for friends if friends want to join your CEO business they can help you out now I'll talk about that later how to do it you know <laughs> what to go to and everything so right here I'm just explaining that there's you know top range such as that car okay now there's also <laughs> mid-range and then there's a standard range okay different prices for each thing top range is gonna get you the most it's gonna give you a hundred grand every single time but you do have to spend 20 gr 20 grand okay and I'll explain this like right now I'm pretty sure I yep hold on yep yeah click exports okay click it click it click it okay there we go okay there is private showroom and specialist dealer I always go specialist dealer he gives you the most now there you can go commission officer offer and you can go or uh, you can go the other commission offers which is showroom and private not worth it to me I think you should always go specialist dealer you get the most out of your <laughs> bang out of your buck and uh, you know I have to pay 20 grand as you see <laughs> that's minus 20 grand on my account <laughs> and then you literally get to do whatever this car you want for free now keep in mind you're not getting this car you are going to give this car away and never see it again so you of course make it look nice <laughs> This is the only time you're going to get to do this for free, like, or for 20 grand at least, you know? <laughs> Everything, if you'd done this on GTA Online with a regular car and in, you know, one of the garages, it would cost you 200 grand easily. <laughs> with this, you can do it for free. So just enjoy it while you can, because uh, you're never going to get to see this car again after you do this. So as you can see, I like to spice up my cars, and, uh... I like to make my cars look nice. Some people don't. It's up to you. Um, so yeah, add a spoiler, add all that stuff, just to help you. I know it doesn't. Not a lot of people think it helps you, but it does. Looking good. And uh, yeah. So from here, you choose your rims, blah blah blah, and then you'll leave the garage. Okay. Once you leave the garage, it's <laughs> well, it's uh, it's open hunting season, buddy. <laughs> If a GTA player, it's gonna show you a countdown right now. See, so minus 20 grand. Just to, uh, sorry, I'll okay. just that After out there. The Your assistant calls you, you hang up. Four, three, two, one. Everyone on GTA Online can see you now. Your commission is $100,000 right now, okay? Your time to delivery, you have 15 minutes to deliver this car. Now, you must be careful. Every time you hit a car, it will dock you on your commission. Now, a scratch on the car will not dock you. Your first scratch, at least, will not dock you, okay? And be careful, right there, you see two cars just randomly hit each other. The AI in this game is awful. <laughs> They'll just turn randomly. You really got to be careful. They will damage your car. I've seen it done so many times. Um, okay, so see, I get 100 grand for that car because I was very careful. I only got 1%, and that was because of a scratch. That's it. And don't worry about the cars once you deliver them. They're all in your storage area, you know? They're all in your garage. If you look around, see? They're all there. <laughs> uh, as you can see, a lot of these cars look really nice. But you gotta remember, I only had one of the top range. And that's because some of the cars aren't considered top range. So here I'm explaining CEO abil abilities, right? Ghost organization and bribe authorities. I've seen a lot of people tell a lot of people to do that. Please don't do that, <laughs> especially during the missions. It's pointless. Just <laughs> you're mostly in supercars and fat, very sporty cars. You know, you can outrun these GTA players if you try, and if you're smart about it. Don't go through the city. Like <laughs> go around it. It takes time, but I mean, you're gonna. What's better, you know, five grand in damage or ten grand? You know, choose <laughs> choose your battles wisely. So as you can see right here. I did realize, like, oh, snap, uh, I changed my name to the supercars, as you can see. I'm down 250. 
Um, kind of sucks. Okay, so right here, you want to go to hire associates. This is where you can hire your friends for your thing. Okay, this is where you get to sell three cars, four cars at a time. Now I'm going to explain to you the CEO office. All right, so you walk through. The elevators are how you get up, down, to the roof, anywhere you want. Here, your, so <laughs> your assistant will help you with pretty much anything. Your Pegasus vehicles, I don't have many. Personal vehicles, he'll bring to you. Your, you know... <laughs> My Zentoro will bring it to me. Snacks. He gives you free snacks. Do not buy snacks at a gas station. It's stupid. It's a waste of, you know, $5. It's dumb. <laughs> Keep the every little penny you got. Keep it. Just pay for P P's and Q's for free, you know? <laughs> so, as you can see, he allows you to fill your thing. Then you can leave. Okay? Right there, that door, if I could go through it, would be a bedroom. You can afford, if you can afford it, put it in. That's your choice. Now, you do get a sweet living room <laughs> and planning table. Um, you get a TV, bar. You get a sweet view. <laughs> so, I mean, your choice on what CEO building. As you can see, I have money laying around everywhere. But I did buy myself this. A little vault. Now, the vault does nothing <laughs> except to show off your money. And right now, I have 900 grand. Because I did grind and I did sell a vehicle of my own because I didn't really want it anymore. And until next time.